but we join Margo Morin now live. And Margo, I have to ask, I know you had a bit of a spill there. Are you all right? I am all right. My ego is a little bit bruised and the back of my, the lower back portion where snow went down my pants earlier this morning, also feeling a bit wet. Very slippery sidewalk and road conditions today in the city of Edmonton. So take care out there on the roads. Now, the snow that you're seeing right now, this is not the big story for this week. The big story for us in Alberta, like you said, is the Wednesday overnight into Thursday. So we could pick up about 15 centimeters of snow here in the city of Edmonton. But when we head west towards those mountain areas, any driving in those mountain paths, will be absolutely treacherous as they pick up 20 plus 25 centimeters of snow and then also see a nosedive in those temperatures. So if you can avoid traveling on Thursday through the mountain passes between Alberta and BC, it would be advisable. Stick with us for all the information you need about the weather conditions for this week. Thanks so much for that, Margo. And that's exactly that. When we get into these type of conditions, it's not just dangerous on the roads for pedestrians as well. Really slippery and dealing with it in full force. We're joined by Margo Morin. Thanks, Chrissy. Yeah, I had a nice spill on a city sidewalk today and it kind of hurt my lower back as it got snow down the bottom of my pants. So that was a nice way to start off my day. Now, minus eight degrees, a little bit of snow for us today. Similar conditions for temperatures for tomorrow. No snow, clear skies and a little bit of uh, sunny, cloudy conditions. But really, it's Wednesday overnight into Thursday where we are seeing that big snowfall happen right across Alberta. So 15 new centimeters of snow expected in the Edmonton region. And then when we go west towards the mountainous regions, even higher. Uh, accumulations of snowfall there. It's actually been advised right now that for Thursday travel between Alberta and BC will be treacherous. Not only will we see uh, significantly higher snowfall, so maybe the 25, 30 centimeter sort of area, but then also temperatures nose diving down to the sort of overnight lows in that minus 30 kind of area. Not a safe situation if you were to be stranded uh, with your vehicle, especially because there's not a lot of very good cell phone service in those areas either. So maybe move your plans around to be doing that traveling either today or later in the week, maybe like Friday or Saturday. Saturday. Isn't that right, Chrissy? Thanks for that, Margo. And I'm really glad that you mentioned if you are traveling, of course, quite dangerous, but adding to that to dress for the weather and the conditions, because if you do get stuck, it's incredibly important. Even if you're running to the store, have the parka in the back. Margo Morin, what do you prefer, the extreme cold or the snow? <laughs> You know, I spent my whole day outside on uh, White Avenue yesterday talking to Edmontonians about what kind of wintry weather they prefer. Me, I kind of like this, minus single digits, a bit of snow falling, but I got a lot of responses from people saying that they prefer the minus 20-something clear skies, lots of sunshine. So that will be more sort of what we are seeing tomorrow, although temperatures won't be quite as cold. So minus 6 for our Wednesday with just some cloud and some sun, but overnight Wednesday into Thursday, that's when the real act starts, the big snow event, 15 centimeters here in the city of of Edmonton. Also 15 centimeters going to accumulate in Calgary by the weekend, but really it's those mountain passes, the areas Jasper, uh, all the way down to Banff, to Pincher Creek that will be receiving 30 plus centimeters of snow. Those mountain passes for later this week are going to be absolute treacherous driving conditions. I would avoid having to do that drive for the Thursday, Friday. If you can fit it in today or on Saturday, that's probably your best bet for this weekend. Thanks for that, Margo. Great advice, especially if you did have those travel plans. Beginning Margo Morin, because Margo, you're actually getting the appetizer storm before the main event. <laughs> Yes, this is just this is just the hors d'oeuvre hour right now. So you can see the Edmonton City streets, a bit snow covered. We've seen some reports of some slippery conditions out here this morning, but it's really overnight Wednesday into Thursday where roads are going to become terrible right across Alberta. So 15 centimeters in Edmonton and Calgary expected by Friday, but it's those mountain passes and those mountainous areas that we'll see upwards of 25, even 30 centimeters of snow, 50 centimeters of snow expected in those really high elevation areas. So take care out there. Now, of course, that's just part one of our weather story. Part two is that when this low that comes across the mountains, dropping all of that snow, it comes to Alberta and it will meet with a uh, an Arctic high pressure system that's bringing freezing temperatures to us. Really, really cold by the weekend. Yes, none too nice. I'm not a big fan of the cold, but you can watch it in action here. Thank you, Margo. Uh, yes, Chris. And in addition, temperatures, Margo, are going to be taking quite the dive. Thanks. Well, there you see it. Margo was literally frozen and I don't blame her because look what's coming our way as we head through the morning hours. And Margo, I know you're quite cold already, but things are going to be getting even colder late week. 
Yeah, that's right, Chrissy. We have the snow, but then the cold is just the second part of this story. So by the time this system makes its way through our province Wednesday overnight into Thursday, bringing all of that snow, it will be mixing with that very cold, high-pressure Arctic air system that will be dropping the thermometer big time. So by this weekend in the city of Edmonton, we are going to be seeing overnight lows that will be getting close to that minus 30 mark. Of course, at this time, it makes us think about people that have maybe mobility limitations or maybe in those vulnerable populations that don't have a warm place to go think what you can do for those people today and give a helping hand in your community when we see weather like this it can't be fun for anyone who's struggling at this time Absolutely, Margo. Love that advice. And of course, I know the holiday season makes us more giving, but even more so when you are seeing temperatures like this.